April Showers Bring May Flowers, hosted by Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. Links for the host and the playlist will be in the description box. I found this beautiful Talavera ceramic pot at my local Walmart garden center. It's a Mexican style pottery. Um, here is the tag inside, um, nine inch, nine inch round Talavera and that's the SKU number. So this was in the garden center and I was pleasantly surprised to find this. I love all the gorgeous colors that they use. The motifs that they painted on this are absolutely beautiful. I love the brightness of that yellow and I found these beautiful begonias. This one is just a regular um, begonia that I've had before, but this next one is called a dragon's wing, which I thought was really unusual. I've never seen this one, so I wanted to pick this up and include this in the pot. I think they'll look really nice in this pot and be a nice pop of color on my front porch. So you know how it goes with transplanting. You just get your soil ready and I um, squeeze from the bottom and then I pull apart the root system at the bottom of the small pot, potted plant so that they will spread out in my larger pot and just get them situated and nestled down in that soil. A few other upcoming projects I have for this spring summer season are a patio refresh and those bricks to the right of me will be part of a fire pit project. So with my begonias nestled down in the first layer of soil, I top off the pot with more potting soil and that's all she wrote for this. A nice refresh for my front porch, beautiful pops of color, not just in the begonias, but also in this beautiful ceramic pot. For farmhouse, shabby chic, and many more decor style inspirations, please visit Mary Beth's channel. I just picked these wildflowers maybe 30 minutes ago, and they're already trying to like shrivel. So I'm gonna get these um, set out and put these in a book so that they can be pressed and wait a few weeks for them to totally dry out and make some beautiful bookmarks. I think these are so pretty. So hopefully I can get these pressed to where you can see the way the flower is supposed to. I want it to stay open like that and press it. So I hope I can get it to stay. Here are my flowers that were pressed into the book, my wildflowers. 
So I have these Jot self-laminating sheets. I found these last year at Dollar Tree. I, I've never used them. Um, it says they can be used for photos, business cards, recipe cards, and more. So I'm hoping that I could add my pressed flowers in them. I'm gonna cut this um, down the middle so I can make this into a bookmark. And I also have these stamps. Um, Find a beauty and every day is the one that I want to add along with my dried flowers to my bookmark. These came from Joanne Fabric. They are the um, Heidi Swap collection. I just have a regular scrap of paper. So per the instructions, I'm going to lay my flowers down on the uh, unsticky side of the plastic sheeting. And once I get the size measured to what's going to fit on the sheeting, I snip off the bottom of the stems and then I place my piece of stamped paper on there and I do end up flipping that over. And when, with everything situated, I peel back the paper and press it firmly and trying to push out any of the air bubbles. And then I end up getting one of the Dollar Tree scrapers to help press it down so that everything is nice and secure. I work to continue trying to get out all of the air bubbles and to get this as flat as possible. There are some small air pockets around the dried flowers, but I think these laminating sheets really turned out really well and I'll be using these again. And I look forward to try to dry more flowers. And I think this just really turned out so precious with the saying, find the beauty in every day and these pretty wildflowers at the top. I would love to know what you think of this and if any of you have ever dried flowers before. I'll link in the description box a light academia video, my first attempt at pressing flowers. I had several roses that I pressed and placed them inside a frame. As I'm editing my video, we are having an April shower. How about that? Thanks so much for watching. Please enjoy the playlist. The link will be in the description box. And don't forget to check out our wonderful host, Mary Beth Gray. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.